my dear boys and girls i thank you very much for attending this meeting uh, we are spreading this krishna consciousness movement uh, because there is a great need of this movement throughout the whole world and uh, the process is very easy that is the advantage first of all try to understand what is the transcendental platform so far our living condition is concerned we are in different platforms so we have to uh, first of all uh, stand on the transcendental platform then there is question of transcendental meditation in the bhagavad gita in the third chapter you will find that we have got different status of conditional life the first is indriyani pararahu saskir indriyani first thing is bodily conception of life every one of us in this material world we are under this bodily concept of life i am thinking indian i am indian you are thinking you are american somebody is thinking i am russian somebody is thinking i am somebody else so everyone is thinking that i am this body this is one standard or one platform this platform <coughs> is called <coughs> sensual platform because so long we have bodily conception of life we think happiness means sense gratification that's all happiness means sense gratification because body means senses so indriyani pararahu indriya bha para mana Lord Krishna says that in the material concept of life, our bodily concept of life, our senses are very prominent. That is going on at the present moment. Not at the present moment. Uh, since the creation of this material world, uh, that is the disease. That I am this body. Shrimad Bhagavat says that ah, just sātma buddhi kunape tridhātuke sadhi kalatrādīśu bhoma yujyati that anyone who has the concept of this bodily understanding that I am this body ātma buddhi kunape tridhātuke ātma buddhi means concept of self ah, in this bag of skin and bone this is a bag this body is a bag of skin bone blood urine stool and so many nice things you see but we are thinking that i am this bag of bone and skin and stool and urine oh. that is our beauty that is our everything there are many <laughs> nice stories of course our time is very short <clears throat> and uh, still i wish to narrate one short story uh, that one man one boy <clears throat> was attracted by a beautiful girl so 
the gun does not agree and the boy is uh, persistent. So uh, the, in India, of course, uh, the girls, they keep their chastity very strictly. So the girl was not agreeing, so she said, all right, I agree, after one week. Uh, you come. He, she appointed such and such time you come. So the boy was very glad. And the girl took some pargeti throughout the seven days. And uh, she was passing stool day and night and vomiting. And she kept all these vomits and stool in a nice spot. So when the appointed time came, the boy came and the girl was sitting on the door. The boy inquired, where is that girl? She said, I am that girl. Well, no, no, you are not. You are so ugly. She was so beautiful. You are not that girl. No, I am that girl. But I have now separated my beauty in a different part. Uh, what is that? Ah, uh, he sees what? This is the beauty, this tool and vomit. This is the ingredient. Actually, anyone may be very robust or very beautiful if he passes tool for three or four times, everything changes immediately. So my point is that, as stated in this Srimad Bhagavatam, that uh, this bodily concept of life is uh, not very sanguine, just shantu buddhi kunapetri dhātuke. Uh, this body, composition of uh, several uh, things like uh, uh, bones and skins and blood, and urine and stool and secretion, so many things. That is not a uh, right uh, calculation of self-realization. Uh, of course, those who are too much engrossed with the bodily concept of life, they have been uh, uh, recommended to practice the hatha yoga system. That is also mentioned in this Simad Bhagavad Gita, just like we will find uh, in the uh, Sankha Yoga, this Bhagavad Gita as it is, as we have published, page number 153, there is a statement how one should practice this transcendental meditation. Uh, verse number 13 and 14, it is said, one should hold one's body neck and head erect in a straight line. This body, this body, this head, this neck, uh, and uh, <coughs> the body, whole body, trunk, should be erect in a straight line and stare steadily at the tip of the nose, oh. just as you have to sit like this. And you have to look, not closing your eyes, but uh, half closing your eyes, and you have to uh, look on the point of your nose. Uh, one should hold one's body, neck and head erect in a straight line, and stare steadily at the tip of the nose, thus with an unagitated, subdued mind, devoid of fear, completely free from sex life, one should meditate upon me," the Lord says. Before that, the primary prescription, how one should uh, practice this transcendental meditation, that one has to restrict, especially sex life, one has to select a very solitary place, uh, and a sacred place, and he should sit down alone. Uh, 
this meditation process is not practiced uh, in a place like this where many men are gathering. It is recommended it must be a solitary place, sacred place and alone. And then you have to sit or you have to select your sitting place. There are so many things. Of course, those things cannot be explained within few minutes. If you are very much interested, you will find in this book, Sankhajuka chapter. So uh, uh, one has to, from the bodily concept of life, one has to translate himself to the spiritual platform. That is the whole be- meaning of whole process. Uh, just like I, I began to say that in the beginning our self-realization means we are thinking this body, uh, indrāṇī parāra. Then one who has transcended this bodily concept of life, uh, he comes to the platform of mind, indrāṇī parārāhu indriyabha parah mana. Mana means mind. Somebody, uh, some people, some of them, practically the whole population of the world, they are under the bodily concept of life. And above them, there are some people who are on the uh, mental concept of life. They are thinking mind. And somebody uh, is on the intellectual platform of life. Indriyāni parā rāhu indriyabha parā manā manasastu parā buddhi. Buddhi means intelligence. Uh, and when you transcend the intellectual platform also, then you come to the spiritual platform. Uh, that realization first of all requires. Uh, before you practice transcendental realization, uh, you have to reach to the transcendental platform. That transcendental platform is called Brahma Bhuta. Uh, perhaps you, you have heard this word Brahma. Aham uh, Brahmasma. That is transcendental. That I am not this body, I am not this mind, I am not this intelligence, but I am spirit soul. That platform. That what is the symptoms? of a person who has reached that platform. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasujati Nakang. When you reach to the platform of Brahma realization, Brahma realization means transcending. We are, we are talking on the transcendental meditation. So transcending the bodily concept of life, transcending the mental concept of life, transcending the intellectual concept of life, when you come to the real spiritual platform, that is called Brahma Bhuta stage. So Brahma Bhuta stage, it is not simply word that I have realized Brahma. There are symptoms. Everything has got symptoms. How one has realized Brahma? That stage is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. When one is on the transcendental platform, Brahma Bhuta state, his symptom is that he is always joyful. Joyful. There is no morosness. No. And what is joyful, that is also explained. What is joyfulness? Nasochati nakangsati. He does not hanker after anything, neither he laments. No. In the material platform, we have got two uh, symptoms hankering and lamenting. The things which we do not possess, we hanker after it. I must have it, I must have it, I must have this, this, that. chetra sutapta vittai There is a nice explanation how this hankering. Hankering is expanded. Uh, this hankering expanded, this whole material world is hankering after sex life. That is the basic principle of hankering. Pumsham mitho, pumsham sriya mithuni bhava meta. This is Sanskrit language. Mithuni bhava means sex life. 
either in human society or animal society or bad bird society or insects, or everywhere we find that sex life is very prominent. That is materialistic way of life. Oh. Indriyani, senses. Oh. So the everyone, a boy is hankering after a girl, a girl is hankering after a boy, or a man is hankering after a woman, a woman is hankering. This is going on. This is not our nature. This is the natural life. Oh. And Tayur Mitha, the hankering is there. But as soon as they meet or unite, it becomes a hard knot. Tayur Mitha, Hridayaganti Mahu, a hard knot in the heart that I am matter, I am this matter. This uh, world belongs to me. This country belongs to me. Oh. This fair body belongs to me. That means hard not. Instead of transcending from the concept of body life, it becomes still more hard not. It is very difficult. Therefore, those who are practicing yoga are uh, trying to be on the transcendental platform. Uh, the restriction is that one must uh, cease from sex life. Oh. If you at all interested. But that is not possible. Therefore, our, this method, we don't say stop sex life, but we say don't have illicit sex life. Oh. Illicit sex life, of course, in, in uh, even there is no question of transcendental life, that is a question of civilized life. Civilized life. In every civilized society, uh, it may be Hindu society or Muslim society or Christian society, any civilized human society, there is a system of marriage. And beyond marriage, if there is sex life that is called illicit sex life, that, that is never indulged in any society. So what to speak of transcendental life? Transcendental life must be purified from mental concoction or bodily concept of life. It is a transcendental platform. Huh? So these things are very restricted. It, in order to reach that transcendental platform. But in this age, in this age of Kali, where everything is uh, disturbed, uh, all is full of anxieties, uh, the life is very short. That is also explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Prayana Kalo Vasmin Jana. Life is very short, and they are not interested for any transcendental subject matter. They are interested only with the bodily concept of life. Mandas manda matayo manda bhagya jupadhuta and always disturbed by so many anxieties. How he can ascend to the platform of transcendental uh, realization? It is very uh, difficult in this age. Therefore, uh, Arjun, who was being taught by Krishna that you try this practice of transcendental life. But Arjun said, Arjun means he was taking this instruction 5,000 years ago. He was a royal prince. He was very much advanced in so many things. He said, my dear Krishna, it is not possible to practice this transcendental uh, process of uh, ascending uh, by yoga practice, this heart of yoga practice. It is not possible. He refused. Oh. He refused that uh, because I am a family man, I have come here to fight for my, uh, uh, I am to say, political interest. How I can practice this system that I have to go to a solitary place, I have to sit down like this, I have to practice like this, I have to cease from sex life. So it is not possible. Oh. Just try to understand. Uh, so transcendental platform by the Hatha Yoga system practicing all the rules and regulations, 
is not possible in this age at all. If somebody is trying to uh, practice that thing in so-called way, uh, that is not actually, you cannot perform this transcendental meditation in city life. It is not possible. Uh, that is a, uh, very clearly stated in the Bhagavad Gita. So you have to live in the city, you have to live with your family, you have to live with your friends. You have, it is not possible to go to the forest and find out a secluded place. So here and in this age, if you want to rise on the transcend, transcendental platform, then as it is recommended by uh, Vedic literature, uh, Kalautadharikirtana. In this age, simply by chanting the holy name of God. Kalautadharikirtana. We are introducing this system not to make it very easy by our mental compassion. It is recommended. It is practiced. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu introduced this transcendental meditational process. Oh. You will see, you have already seen that these boys and girls, as soon as they begin chanting Hare Krishna, immediately there is a transcendental feeling. If you practice, you will understand how you are feeling transcendentally. The easiest process. Now, I have began this movement in this country, say, from 1966. So, and I began in New York in a small storefront, and gradually uh, they came. And now it is spread. There are about 15, 16 branches all over their country, and these boys are practicing simply, the simplest process, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. These sound vibration, these transcendental sound vibration, immediately we carry you on the transcendental platform. And if you kindly hear, you chant Hare Krishna and try to hear, so that your mind is absorbed in the sound vibration. And this Krishna sound vibration means Krishna, because Krishna is absolute, God is absolute. There is no difference between God's name and God. Just like in the material world, there is difference uh, between water and the name water, the flower and the thin flower. In the spiritual world, in the absolute world, there is no such difference. Therefore, as soon as you vibrate the transcendental sound, Krishna, Hare, Rama, immediately you associate with the Supreme Law and His energy. Uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, the meaning of this uh, transcendental vibration is Hare. Hare means, oh, the energy of the Supreme Lord. Everything is being done by the energy of the Supreme Lord. Oh. Parasya Brahmana Shakti, just like you have got practical example, this material world means creation of the energy of the sun sign. Every one of you, you are all uh, scientific students, you know that for all these planets, they are rotating on account of heat and light of the sun. And similarly, the whole creation, material and spiritual creation, they are manifestation of the energy of the Supreme Law. Just like the sun sign is the energy of the sun globe, Similarly, there is a supreme planet which is called Krishna Loka or Goloka. These things are mentioned in the Vedic literature, Brahma Sutra, Brahma Sanghita. If you want, you can read them. There is immense literature for this information. So we are praying to the energy of the Supreme Lord and the Supreme Lord, please pick me up. Please pick me up. I am in this dance and the bodily concept of life. I am in this material existence. I am suffering. Please uh, pick me up to the spiritual platform so that uh, I will be happy. Because, as I explained just a minute before, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma, as soon as you come to the transcendental platform, 
you become joyful, happy. Joy, that is the sign. It is not that simply you say that I am in the transcendental meditation, I am a... No. Actually, you have to become happy. How you have become happy? Nasochati nakāṅkhati. There is no hankering, there is no lamentation. And material life means as soon as we are hankering after sex conjugation, and as soon as there is conjugation, uh, as soon as we are united, man and woman, then I want a, a, a nice apartment, I want some business, I want some land, I want some friends, I want some society. Similarly, we extend our bodily concept of life. There is no question of transcendental planet. So we have to wind up. Uh, from the material concept of life to the spiritual concept or spiritual platform. That is called Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasuchati Nakankati. When one is on the spiritual platform, he has no more hankering, no more lamentation. Oh, Why he should be hankering? He knows that I don't want anything material. Why shall I be hankering? Whatever he is, uh, I mean, barely required, I must uh, um, be satisfied with that thing. Uh, so that is a, a very ni- not very nice proposal to the materiality, materially advanced uh, world at this present moment. People will not accept it. Therefore, this process, transcendental, yes, jukta vaira, it is called jukta. You just remain in your place. Uh, this is the facility of this uh, 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 Hare Krishna movement or Krishna Consciousness movement. You haven't got to change your place. You remain. You are student, you remain student. You are businessman, you remain businessman. You are woman, man, or anyone, any black, white, anyone. You remain in your position. Simply try to hear. Sāne sthita sutikataṁ tanubhāṁ mano You just Oh, remain in your position, be simply here. Kindly give your oral reception to this transcendental sound. Very simple process. No charges. We are not charging anything that you give us so many dollars, then I shall give you this mantra, Hare Krishna. It is publicly distributed. Oh, you simply catch it and try it. Yeah, you will, oh, very quickly you will come to the transcendental platform and uh, when you hear the chanting, that is transcendental meditation. This process is recommended in all scriptures of Vedic literature, and it is followed by Lord Chaitanya and his uh, disciplic succession for the last 500 years. And uh, people are achieving good results, not only in India, here also the young boys and girls who have joined this movement you try to understand what is this Krishna consciousness movement, how transcendental meditation is possible. We are not sentimentalists. We have got many books that's like here, here is our Bhagavad Gita as it is, and teachings of Lord Chaitanya. We have got our magazine, Back to Godhead. We have got Srimad uh, Bhagavatam, five volumes. Uh, so many things, Isho Upanishad. It is not that we are sentimentalists. Uh, we are backed by uh, high philosophical thoughts and everything. But if you take this simple process, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, you immediately uh, uh, elevated on the transcendental platform without reading so many big literatures, philosophy, or understanding. That is the gift to the uh, uh, present condition and souls of the world uh, by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in accordance with this Vedic sanction. So our request is that you give a try. You simply chant uh, at home or uh, any anywhere. There is no restriction that you have to chant this Hare Krishna mantra in such and such place, in such and such condition. Niyamita smarane nakal. There is no restriction of time and, uh, and circumstances or atmosphere, anywhere, at any time, you can meditate. You are 
No meditation is possible while you are walking on the street. But this meditation is possible. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram, and walk with your voice. You are working with your head, which you can chant, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. So this is very nice. Uh, so kindly uh, accept this uh, Krishna consciousness moment. Uh, at, at, at the same time, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that Nam Nam Kari Bahudani Jasadva Shakti Tatrar Pitani Amita Smarani Nakala. Lord Chaitanya says that there is a Lord's name. Lord's name is not, I mean to say, limited with Krishna. Krishna is the perfect name. Krishna means all attract. Krishna means all attract. And Rama means the supreme pleasure. So if God is not all attractive and supreme pleasure, then what is the meaning of God? God must He must be the supreme pleasure. Otherwise, how you can be satisfied with Him? Your heart is hankering after so many, so many pleasures. If God cannot satisfy you with all the pleasures, Rama, then how you can be God? Therefore, these two names, Rama and Krishna, and all attract. If Krishna cannot be attractive to any person, then how he can be God? He is attractive actually. So these three names we are chanting, uh, Hare Krishna, so if you think, oh, this is Indian name, this is Hindu name, oh, oh, why shall I chant? Why shall I chant the Hindu name? There are some sectarian people, they may think like that. But Lord Chaitanya says, it doesn't matter. If you have got any bona fide name of God, you chant that. But you chant oh, God's name. That is the prescription of this moment. And do not think that this moment is a proselytizing moment from uh, Christian to Hindu or Hindu. No. You remain Christian, Hindu, Jew or Mohammedan, it doesn't matter. Our process is that if you are really to perfect your human form, human form of life, then try to love, develop your dormant love of God. That is perfection of that is perfection of your life. Savai punsaparo dharma jato bhakti jato khaji. You profess any type of religion, but just test whether your religion is perfect or you are perfect, whether you have developed your love for God than any other love. We have distributed our love in so many things. When all those love will be concentrated simply on God, that is perfection of love. Love is there, but because we do not know, because we have forgotten our relationship with God, therefore we are imposing our love on God. That has been our disease. So we have to transfer our love from so many dogs to God. That is the perfection of life, and we are not teaching any particular type of religion. We are simply teaching that you love God. And this is possible simply by chanting these three names, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. It is sixteen names. Actually there are three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. Rama means the supreme praiser, Krishna means all attractive, and Hare means the energy. Then it is perfect. Energy and the Lord, that is the whole sum and substance of all creation, cosmic manifestation, anything. They are detailed in this Bhagavad Gita, Srivad Bhagavatam, but that is the seven substance of everything. Thank you very much. Any question? I told you, Krishna means all attract. Have you got any idea? All attractiveness? How one can be all attractive? Have you got any idea? 
Will any of you explain? Yes. Yes, otherwise how we can be all attractive? That is explained. I will explain what is Krishna. Oh. All attractive. We have got idea. If one man is very rich, he is attractive. If one man is very strong, he is attractive. If one man is very beautiful, he is attractive. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. If one man is wise, he is attractive. In this way there are six opulences, uh, richness, strength, influence, beauty, wisdom, and renunciation. When these six things are incomplete in one person, that is all attractive. So Krishna exhibited all these things, six opulences, in one person, therefore he is all of it. Yes, just like by electric energy you have got heater, at the same time cooler also. The energy is one, but in one place it is uh, utilized for heating, in another place it is utilized as cooling. Similarly, uh, this, take the energy of sunlight, the sunlight is the one, but by the sunlight uh, some flowers are becoming red, some flowers are becoming blue, the leaves are becoming green. So everything is due to the same energy, sunlight, but the variety is there. Variety is there. So the energy may be one, just like in your country by electric energy you are working in so many ways. So. Do not, uh, I mean to say, make minus all these varieties. The energy in uh, diverse varieties. Therefore, the whole uh, conception is, Brahma conception is that uh, unity in diversity. Uh, everything is working by the energy of the Supreme Brahma, and in the energy, we have got different diversities. So we cannot neglect the diversities, although the energy is one. No. That I have explained that we have different stages of understanding. The first stage is uh, this bodily concept of life that is material and uh, gross, then mental state that is finer, subtle, and intellectual state that is still subtler, and you have to transcend all these stages uh, up to intellectual state, that is spiritual stage. The God is complete spirit, full spirit. God is, uh, what is your question? God is one energy. No, God is not one energy. God is one, but He has got diverse energies. Parasa Shakti Vividhaiva Kriyat. In the Vedic literature, we understand that God is one, but His energies are di many, multi energies. We are also one of the energies of God. We living entities. We are also energy. That is stated. And in the uh, uh, 
अपरायम इतस्तु विद्धि में प्रकृति परा लॉर्ड कृष्ण से जॉन दैट दीज मेटीरियल एनर्जीज नेमली फायर आई मीन सार्थ वाटर फायर एयर माइंड इंटेलिजेंस इगो दे आर इनफीरियर एनर्जी बियॉन्ड दिस इनफीरियर एनर्जी देर इज अनदर सुपीरियर एनर्जी दैट सुपीरियर एनर्जी इज कॉल्ड जीव भूत महाबाप दीज लिविंग एंटिटीज दे आर सुपीरियर एनर्जी जय दम धार जते जग दे आर आई एम इज रूलिंग ओवर दिस मेटीरियल एनर्जी सो लिविंग एंटिटी इज सुपीरियर एनर्जी एंड दिस मेटीरियल एनर्जी इज इनफीरियर एनर्जी therefore we are trying to control over the material energy uh, but because we are very small it is not possible to have full control over the material energy after all this is energy of just like we can utilize the sun sign somewhere or other but it is not possible for us to utilize the whole sun sign it is not possible so that is called maya uh, the in superior energy living entity is trying to control over the uh, inferior energy uh, material energy but because we are very minute small it is not possible to have full control over the material energy rather we are being uh, uh, controlled by the material energy due to our smallness these things are very nicely explained in the bhagavad gita uh, seventh chapter if you are interested in fine because you are seeking after joy because you are originally transcendental spirit so your hankering after your your business is to come to that platform of joyfulness but you are somehow or other put into this material platform you are not having fulfilled your joy just like you belong to this land and if you are put into the ocean atlantic ocean have a expert swimmer you may be you cannot be happy you have come back to the uh, land then you can be happy similarly we are all spiritual so spiritual spark oh uh, just like the sun sign sun sign means there are molecular parts of signing principles similarly we are also molecular parts and parcel of god who is anandamaya abhyasa in the vedanta sutra he is full of joy so we as part and parcel also we are full of joy so unless we come in contact with the supreme our joyfulness will never be fulfilled therefore we have to come to the spiritual platform if we want to uh, have that full spiritual or full joyfulness 